Low card's principle states that the perpetrator of a crime will bring something into the crime scene and leave with something from it, and that both can be used as forensic evidence. Drunk Ethan walks to Mr. Gibbons and proceeds to tell him that he slept with his wife. Gibbons shoves Ethan into the hay and knocks him cold. Worthless. Mr. Gibbons tries to get rid of the body. A group of friends gathers at a party to play hide and seek. Alex Winky is picked to be it. Ted, red or not, here I come. Alex quickly runs to the hay trailer because he knows that's where his friends usually hide. I got you. Ah! Upon finding the body, Alex and his mother call 911 for help. We got a 1044 on the Westwood Fall Road. Alright, I'm responding to the scene. Detective Smith, I'll be in there. Is the crime team secured? Crime team secured, we have one body DOA in there. Alright, I'm gonna take over the crime team. Looks like an episode of blood and horse trauma to the head. There's a lot of blood. Gonna have to take a swab. <laughs> Detective Smith proceeds to take a swab of the blood off the victim. Right. Also seem to have some particulates of hay. Might be good for a lab report. Detective, I did a search of the area and I found a trail cam for you. I'll release the crime scene and I'll get the body in a body bag and I'll send him for an autopsy for the morning. Alright, I need to bag this up and send it to the lab, see if we can get any prints or pictures. Alright, you have a good night, Detective. Officer yeah, Smith searches the barn near where the body is found. We were called to the scene by a pair of teenagers playing hide and seek. They think they found some blood. It looks like it might have formed the head of an axe, which we think is the uh, weapon in the use of the murder. There's lots of beer cans around here. Most of them are Bud Light, but there's one Keystone Light. So we're going to swab each of them to see if we can match a uh, victim or suspect DNA. We're going to swab this potential blood stain to see if there's any DNA in it that matches our victim.
There appears to have been a scuffle over here based on these uh, cleared areas of hay. As you can see all around us, there are no other cleared areas of hay. There's also a slight impression that someone was laying or leaning against this hay bale. Mr. Smith and his team believe they have found a potential murder weapon hidden in the corner of the barn. The axe head is a great potential spot for fingerprints, so we're going to send that into the lab to analyze. Detective Smith, What's up, look at the size of this maggot I just found. That thing must have been there for four or five months. That's, that's a worm, officer. What? That, that's a worm. Another note, we went to the database to find out this barn belongs to Devin Gibbons. Alright, he's our primary suspect now, see if we can find him. Professor Hines does an autopsy on the body at the lab. After conducting a thorough autopsy, we have concluded that the cause of death was likely blunt force trauma to the face, probably by an axe or other similar object. Rigor mortis has begun to set in in the limbs, but there is not yet sign of liver mortis. And from that we can extrapolate roughly the time of death. There were multiple fingerprints found at the scene, and we were able to link one of them with our prime suspect, Devin Gibbons. Through initial analysis, I can conclude that these fingerprints did in fact come from the same person with 99% certainty. At the lab, Professor Fokasha analyzes bodily fluids. Based on the DNA profile, from the blood and saliva found at the crime scene, the victim was in the suspect's barn. Through comparison analysis, the hay from the victim is uh, microscopically similar to that of the hay found in the barn. Officer Smith jumps to action to put out a fire that may contain evidence. Analysis, we can conclude that this is a fragment of shirt found in the fireplace at the suspect's home. At the lab, Professor Rock used the GCMS machine to analyze the white substance found at the scene. This is a facial reconstruction of what we think the victim looks like. This was a Gibson production. Thank you for watching.